Hello everyone. Uh, today we're doing the Scorn of the White Dragon. It's like the White Dragon Reborn Trial, the hard mode version. Uh, the missions are do it with a four-man team, no deaths, and finish with an esper. So this is going to be a budget run, you know, no trust masteries, no rainbows, etc. Except the friend. Uh, so the unit I'm going to use is Snow for tanking. He's going to be taunting with Golem. And he's just geared for defense, and he has the Cradle of Horns to help out with um, buffing. And he's got a little bit of fire resist in case the single target attack gets through Bosch's cover. Uh, Beach Time Fina will be my primary healer, and she can also do mana regeneration, which is helpful. Uh, Garnet is going to be my summoner. She can fill the Esper Gauge and deal damage with Bayamut, and she's got uh, Evo Magic increase. And that's all my units. You only, you only bring three units of your own. And then the friend is Angel's Bosch, who is geared for um, magical cover, as well as uh, resistance to fire, ice, lightning, and earth, which is the elements the boss uses. Now, you don't need someone geared like this. You know, just a plain old magic cover tank like Bosch or Chow should be fine. But, you know, if you can get one uh, geared like that, it helps. Let's give it a go. So this first turn, he's going to ambush us, and it's going to set our hit point to like 1% and give us a minor in peril. But he doesn't actually attack on the ambush, so we'll survive it. Okay, and he buffs himself with the spirit and um, defense. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use Life's Harmony, which is going to give us a heal as well as a resistance buff to counteract that in peril. And then we're going to dual cast heals with our actual healer to get even more healing. And then Snow is going to provoke the melee attacks. And Bosch is going to use uh, Twilight Guard for magical cover. As you can see, um, Bosch is immune to the magic stuff. And with the counterattacks, you know, as you can see, it helps fill like the Esper Gauge, Limit Gauge, etc. So we can go ahead and limit with Garnet. To fill the Esper, so we can summon an Esper next turn, hopefully. Uh, we're going to create a Lahorns with Snow. That's going to buff our defense and spirit. We'll go ahead and dual cast um, a Dispel for the boss's spirit buff and a heal. Now we'll go ahead and use a Spirit Break. Get that ready for Bayamut. Now hopefully Snow fills the Esper Gauge with um, his counterattacks. That'd be helpful. If not, we've got to use another turn with um, Garnet to fill the Esper Gauge. Alright, there's one Esper Orb. Hopefully we get one more. guess not. That's okay. Uh, maybe we can get it with punching. Nope. Oh well. Uh, so let's go ahead and dual white, dual heal, and um, what is double heal? So we've got to fill the Esper Gauge with Garnet. And we'll refresh uh, Magic Cover.
Alright, we're gonna go ahead and guard. Um, Bosch. And we will summon Bayamut. Which should push about two thresholds, maybe. Oh, not quite. Just one. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we will provoke again with um, Snow. Beach time, Thena. We'll go ahead and heal. Yeah. Alright, so here comes a um, threshold attack that Bosch covered, and he was guarding, so he took you know, minimal damage. Alright, there's an Esper Crystal. Let's go ahead and summon the Esper Gage. So we just need one more. Uh, let's refresh Provoke with Snow, and we'll refresh Uh, actually we will refresh, yeah let's refresh Magic Cover Alright, Beach Time Fina will heal Okay. Uh, so we don't really need any healing this turn, so we'll go ahead and refresh an ale with Beach Time Fina. Uh, Snow will do Cradle of Horns. We will fill the Esper Gauge. And we'll refresh um, the Spirit Break. We're going to summon Bayabit next turn. So let's go ahead and guard um, Bashk. We'll summon Bayamut for damage. Uh, let's refresh Provoke. Uh, and Beach Time Fina will heal. And we've still got that uh, regeneration for mana buff with Fina, so it'll you know, top our mana off. Okay. Now there's the second spirit buff that he does. He does that twice in the fight, beginning and after 60%. So we'll have to dispel that. Alright, we got Garnet's Limit Gauge, so that's good. Alright, so go ahead and limit with Garnet. We'll refresh cover. We will dual cast a heal and dispel Athena. And Snow will do Cradle of Horns. And hopefully, the counterattacks give us that Esper Crystal so we can. Uh, There it is, excellent. Alright, so we're not going to guard Snow this round. We're going to break the spirit, but it should be fine. So let's go ahead and summon Bayamut again. Alright, excellent. I will provoke, and we'll do some heals. We just need one heal. Alright, 
There's the threshold. So now we just need to get one more um, Esper Gage up, and we'll finish the fight. We'll get some of those Lemon Crystals to Garnet. So we can, there it is. Build her up. Thank you, Snow. Go ahead and fill up the Ice Brigade with Garnet. We'll provoke with Snow. We'll Magic Cover with um, Faj. And we'll heal with Beach Time Fina. And we're about to finish the fight. All missions. Alright, we need one more Esper Crystal. There it is! And we'll summon Bayamut. And win the fight! So we finished with an Esper, we had no deaths, and we did a four-man team. Pretty easy. You know. This is a relatively easy-to-build team. No rainbows, no trust masteries. Just grab a magic cover tank. And as you saw, you know, um, the magic tank takes very little damage if they're geared well. That's why you want to grab a friend for that. Or if you have your own child, Bosh. Even, you can even do it with Mystia. You know, if you've got enough gear for her. All missions. Alright, I'll see y'all for the next event.